Wednesday night. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Seattle Supersonics. Now here's Peyton, and now the opening lineup for Boston. We've got Pierce. Ajan Rondo is out there with Allen. Then there's Perkins, and it's Garnett in at the four spot. McMillan passes to Kemp. Just five on the clock. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's his first foul. Peyton outside. Pass to McMillan. To the inside. And there's Three. the whistle. Three-second violation. against Peyton. Rondo scanning the floor. And the pass to Allen. Back to Rondo. Six on the shot clock. With the teardrop, it's tipped. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. And then Kemp slams it in. Kemp. Nicely done. Running the floor well, then attacking. Now the exclamation point in transition with the high percentage finish. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Upper Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Wow, huge sigh of relief for the defense on that possession. You cannot give mid-range shooters any space like that to operate. Seattle shooting their first free throws of the game. One of the worst in the league a season ago, just 72%. The first one falls. Gasale is checked in for Rajon Rondo. And both free throws good for Peyton. Here's Cassell. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Allen kicks to Perkins. Pierce against Pierce. Over in the corner, Allen gets the three-pointer to fall. And this is Allen's game. One of the quickest releases we've ever seen. Amazing shooting off that pass. Here's Kemp. Garnett with the block. McMillan against Allen. Tries it from 19. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Allen's got five now. Nice way to start the evening. His number's getting called, and for good reason. Uh, this is also one of those things where you start to think about how you're going to change your defense already, if at all possible, make someone else beat you. Austin with the ball after the basket by Seattle. Garnett kicks to Pierce. Back to Garnett. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Allen. It's up a three. That's no good. And now he's missed two and made two. Back to Kemp. Passes to Pete. We've got 113 left here in the opening quarter. Block. They'll get another chance. Austin trailing. And a new group in for the Celtics. Brown is checked in for Perkins. Poe comes in for Kevin Garnett. James Posey's checked in for Paul Pierce. And Allen subbed in for Allen. Phenomenal use of the body there to free himself up from the defender and get a clean look at the basket. Pass to Kate. Kemp dishes to Pierce. Peyton right side. To the left side wing. Here's Kemp, and Kemp slams it in. Kemp. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finished hard with two hands on that stuff. Here's Boston now. They trail by one. Knocks it loose. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to McMillan. Peyton looking it over. Oh, 
just five on the clock. He kicks to Kemp. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got three assists now in this one. Here's Cassell. Here's Poe. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And we'll be right back after this. so far we'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter and let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Seattle guys a huge fan of how they have rotated here defensively been able to challenge multiple shots and if you're rotating like that it's got to be a great line of communication between all five guys you see that reflected on the scores all that trust showing up with the lead on the floor for Boston Leon Poe out there with Brown then there's Allen then it's Cassell, and it's Posey, and at the three, the small forward. Zeldick's making a switch here. Ando's checked in. It's Allen on the win. He's guarded by McMillan. Poe, and that one is off. Seattle goes the other way with it. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Sonics have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. That one misses. Celtics trail by three. Here's Allen. Rebounded by McKee. Right side, Kemp. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Clearly a foul. This is his first free throw of the game. The first free throw is good. And so Kent nails both of them. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. The feed to Allen. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Allen's got his first points of the night. Yeah, there's no excuse right there for not covering one of the guys on the floor. And that's Rondo around the rim where he can score. Nick Millen against Allen. Lock at six. Can't hit that one. Good D by Rondo. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for Boston. It's a three-point game. Inside. It's picked off. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Throws it up high. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Posey, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And there's the pass to McMillan. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Got a piece of it. Four on the shot clock. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tony Allen. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, there are good fouls, and then there's those fouls. That's not, not a good one. Limits himself on defense, and he can't nearly be as physical for the rest of the period. Kings checked in for the Sonics. Johnson comes in for McMillan. Kevin Garnett is checked in for the Celtics. Allen comes in for Tony Allen. Now here's Johnson. Here's Cage. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Rondo finds Garnett. Now Posey. And taken away by Johnson. One sixteen left to play here in the half. 17-foot shot on the way. Celtics trail by three. Rondo with a clean look. A quick look, no good that time. You've got to be a, a little bit questioning of the defense because I'm sure they feel foolish for giving that guy that look. They survived it. Here's Posey. 
Some changes for Boston. Perkins comes in for Leon Poe. And Paul Pierce is subbed in for James Posey. 51 seconds left in the second quarter. Outside Rondo. Back to Garnett. Just five on the clock. Off on the layup. Sonics leading by three. Let's it go from 11. Kicks it to Johnson. Defended by Allen. Right on the bucket. And that's what the pump makes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Now Rondo. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Garnett. No good on the last second attempt there. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Sonics lead by five. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Oklahoma City. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal. Taking a look at the Supersonics. Kenny, what did you see from them? Well, they showed a lot of discipline on offense. Call some high percentage plays. Even when the defense devised different looks, they always seem to have the answer. That's good coaching. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Well, on offense, I like to see them play inside out more. Attack the basket, generate easy points. And then once the defense collapses, kick it out to the perimeter for open looks. Trust me, I know. Rick Fox, big shot Bob, that's all we did. And that's a wrap with the. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Celtics trail by five. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the floor for Seattle. We've got Johnson and it's Cage in at the four. Here's Rondo. Here's Perkins. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Johnson. Here's Cage. Count the basket and the foul. It's on Rajon Rondo. No defender is going to have a shot against that kind of play. He's just too tall to stop that close to the rim. Tony Allen's checked in for the Celtics. Seattle shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. That's good, and the Seattle lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Ray Allen. And defensively, th this is the opposite of how you want to start the second half. Yeah, it's like four teenagers at home over the summer, just not enough activity. You've gotten your rest. It's time to man up. And now in transition is Pierce. Here we go. Here's Garnett. It's good. This game is all even. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Here's Peyton, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Tony Allen. For Seattle, they have shot four of seven as a team from the line tonight. Several misses early. Kemp's checked in for Seattle. Brown is checked in for the Celtics. And you can sense that the pressure might have gotten to him a little bit, but he did do enough to put them in the lead. And here we go. Peyton heading to the hoop, and Kemp slams it in. That's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Happy. Now here's Allen. Seven points in the game. And it's good off the back rim and in. Allen's got four points in the quarter. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys. And the offense looking very fluid right now. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Benjamin the pass to Peyton. Six on the shot clock. 
Garnett grabs the board. Garnett's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Feeds it to Allen. Brown trying to free himself up. Allen, that's good. Allen's got the lead up to one now for the Celtics. Payton kicks to Pierce. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's Payton. Off the left rim and out. Just wondering why the defense is laying off. Luckily, they didn't pay for their mistake. Down low, Allen. Here's Garnett. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Garnett's got his second bucket of the night. And there isn't a lot that they're doing well right now defensively. They just seem to be disconnected defensively in the second. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Here's Allen. And he converts the layup. Now it's a five-point Celtic lead. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Peyton against Allen. Peyton passes to Benjamin. Knocked loose and taken away by Brown. It's taken away by Peyton. And they get it. And he sinks the layup. Peyton's got five now. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Allen with it. Now Peyton defending. Allen's shot is off. Next trail by three. Now here's Peyton. He has five. second attempt does not go in for him. Right back after this break. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basket. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the court right now for the Celtics. Leon Poe out there with James Posey. That's Rajon Rondo. Then it's Cassell. And it's Perkins in its center. Rondo with the steal. Celtics leading by three. Over to the wing. Shot clock at six. No good. Shot missing. And who goes the other way with it. And here's the fast break. Here's McKee. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. McKee's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Sonics. Outside Rondo. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. All sorts of time. Here's Perkins. Nails the baby hook. Not everything fell for him in that first half. And now it looks like they're beginning to hit their stride. Pass to Johnson. And the shot goes down. So it's Boston now. They lead by one. Now a timeout called by Boston. Seattle and then for Boston Garnett comes in for Leon Poe and it's Allen in for Cazell okay well let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline hey Kevin during the last break I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team and he's pushing them to empty the tank he said I know you're tired and it's been a tough game but we can't hold back 
If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. Here's McMillan after Rajon Rondo's bucket. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut down to one on the bucket from McMillan. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Celtics. <laughs> 156 left in the fourth quarter of this one to the inside. Second shot opportunity, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Garnett, a vocal leader, always trying to psych his guys up and get into the head of the opponent. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. He really relished these moments and he loves those pressure situations. Leading against one. Always going up for the alley up here and Kemp slams it in. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Rondo over Pete. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And getting a hand in the shooter's face, locking down that in-between one. Just taking on the challenge on every possession. I love defenders who give nothing away. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. It's the first, and that ties the game up. Paul Pierce has checked in for James Posey. And so both free throws good that time. That puts him ahead. And how about the composure there at the line? A ton of pressure on those free throws, and he knocks them both in. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. That is a big loss for this team. This game's still in the balance, and he's someone they always want in there at crunch time. James Posey's checked in for the Celtics. Here's Peyton, down low. Money! Oh, shocking. Yeah, that, that one's amazing. Well, you play your heart out all night long and then just one or two shots at the end decide the outcome. Here's Posey after the Sonics pick up two. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on the stroke to the basket. But on that one, they were there. That one against McMillan. Benjamin in the pass to McMillan. Now Peyton. Four to shoot. Over Posey. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Well, time and score, you just can't have a costly error right now at this point in the game, guys. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're behind by one. We've got 28 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. Okay, when a player scores over half his team's points, to be our pick. But even when he's been the exclusive focus of the defense, they just haven't been able to keep him in check. A tremendous individual effort. And that bucket was absolutely huge. A defensive stop now may just seal the deal. Aiden with the ball. Deflected, and so it's Boston sweeping by with the win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really, an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, 